Is it possible that Bitcoin is on a bull flag breakout with an extrapolated measured move to bring us up potentially to the $14,000 region? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert, back with another edition of the daily live stream. What is going on, my friends? Today, I'd like to discuss Bitcoin and the savagery we're seeing inside the chart right now. <laughs> Grandma's cookies and a bottle of yo ho ho. The volatility inside this market over the past 48 hours has been nothing short of tremendous rips to the upside, followed by plunges to the downside. Now, the question becomes, is this action we're seeing here looking like sustainable, bullish momentum to potentially bring us up to retest our prior macro high? Or on the contrary, are we seeing signs of bullish exhaustion leading to a potential plunge deep down into the crypto abyss? So as a full-time trader, I'd like to discuss with you my strategy, my game plan, and how I plan to crush this market right now in the immediate term. So without any further ado, you guys already know the deal. If you like these daily crypto videos and nightly live streams, smack that thumbs up button, click the subscribe, tick the little bell, and let's get this crypto. Moon the likes, ladies and gentlemen. Moon them up. All right, so we'll begin with our Bitcoin technical analysis. And of course, before we begin, this is not investment advice. This is not trading advice. These are only my own opinions, ideas, and speculative hypotheses on the market. Always do your own research and your own due diligence before investing or trading as this market is extremely high risk and I am not your financial advisor. I will never tell you what to do with your trades or investments. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, wow, Bitcoin, after breaking out of our symmetrical triangle pattern for Formation here, we've seen nothing short of an absolute parabolic move to the upside. Earlier today, testing about the $12,900 region. Very interesting here right now, as we have broken flush above all of our prior lower highs, right? All along this way, we had set lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high which then squeezed us into this pennant formation here. And once we got a break of the upside, ladies and gentlemen, ding, 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 chicken wings for dinner, tofu if you're vegan, Don Don Carbonaccio took a long position at 11,792. Shout out to my VIPs. You guys know I've kept you updated with my long trade here all along the way, crushing this market like a two-ton man on a tuna fish can. And now we've since broken out and, and eclipsed all of the prior higher lows. Exactly what I wanted to see here from a bullish perspective. After breaking the most important one, in my opinion here, which was right here, our highest peak, right? And if you all know, if you are subscribed here, I have had this red box of resistance drawn here. So we did get a flush rip through the resistance zone, which then led to a nice green candle here, right? A FOMO candle, if you will. And then we had a heinous retracement, right? Uh, the market movers, ladies and gentlemen, they knew that Average Joe and James at the water cooler would all be FOMOing in here right after the breakout, right? Because this is what goes on in this market. Pure savagery, wrecking the degenerates, wrecking the FOMOers time and time again. So after we broke out here, we had a little bit of a FOMO candle. The bots, the algorithms, the average Joes of the world pushing this thing right up. We got our crocodile tooth down. Now we found support at a critical area here. I have this box outlined in green here. As you can see from me, let's remove these arrows here uh, and we'll leave these two arrows. This zone here is the confluence of our two past prior highs, right? And right now this market has kept its support on top of these two and on top of this old resistance here, which was our bull flag little pennant uh, before we broke out to the upside, right? So we have two supports, resistance flips, et cetera. Three points of interest here, which are making up this green box of support for me here. As long as Bitcoin remains above this green box, which for me, ladies and gentlemen, begins at about 12,050 and ranges all the way up to 12,250. As long as Bitcoin maintains above this level right now, 
my friends. This is looking very healthy to me, in my opinion, for the bulls. Now, the meat and potatoes here. The extrapolated measure move of the potential bull flag. Now, if you are subscribed here, you would know. I've been pointing this out here, that this looks like a flagpole to me, had a little drop down and formed a symmetrical pennant, right? Which then would be the flag the flagpole up, followed by our flag consolidation, to a potential extrapolated measured move, the same size of this flagpole, to the upside. So if we draw that there, we're gonna take it, we'll clone it over, and when we drag it over to the breakout point, ladies and gentlemen, when we zoom out here, we can see that this target area is just at about our old prior high, at about 14,000. Now, this is very interesting because it does seem like a lot to ask for here to reclimb uh, all the way back up here. I mean, that's roughly a 20% move from our breakout point. Savage, heinous, and a borderline ludicrous inverse debacle, if you do in fact ask me. But right here, right now, I'm also not only in the charts seeing that if Bitcoin is to maintain its support at this level, if the volume right now, ladies and gentlemen, look at this volume here. Our volume profile went from savagely declining day after day after day to now, upon our breakout here, the gigantic bullish engulfing candle on the four hour time frame sparked an influx of volume here, which has thus far maintained its profile. If we continue to see volume here like this, ladies and gentlemen, the case for the bulls is looking increasingly better here, in my opinion. Let's now look at the RSI here, four hour time frame. Still on our upward sloping trajectory, sticking in higher low after higher low after higher low after higher low, and sticking in new highs on a macro level. Absolutely bullish in my opinion. Let's flip over to the daily. Still here, bullish divergence was formed. And now, ladies and gentlemen, exactly what I wanted to see. Ding, ding, ding chicken wings for dinner, tofu if you're vegan. At the time of recording, our new high here has brought the RSI to eclipse our prior high here. Because all along this way, ladies and gentlemen, we've actually had bearish divergence along the way with a downward sloping uh, negative momentum here for the bulls, right? And now, for the first time, we've seen our macro bullish divergence hold true. And now we are finding positive momentum on the RSI from the bulls, eclipsing our prior high here and climbing at the time of recording. Let's get this crypto. So what I'm seeing here right now, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that the bulls may be taking control here short term. If we do happen to climb up here and boom through this region, which does not, in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen, this region here does not have much support or resistance. As I've been pointing out day after day here on this stream, I don't see much support or resistance in here to cause much of a problem, which could equate to uh, clear sailing, in my opinion, up to our level. What we do have to watch out for, in my opinion, is this 0.618 Fibonacci extension, okay? Now, the, the fact of the matter is here is this is roughly where we got rejected last time. And the reason for this is that the bots love the Fibonaccis, human traders love the Fibonaccis, and right now, my friends, I believe that we do have a lot of sentiment here for a potential double top. Now, we may get a, another seemingly blow off double top here, right? It could bring us back down uh, if we do test up that high. It may scare a lot of weak hands out of the market. Oh, Kirby, dang, dang, Garbanagia, are we going back down to zero, Kirby? Oh! If you feel like this is how you're going to be when we get up to these regions, you better prepare your mental state right now, my friend. The time is now. Put on the battle helmet, the trench coat, and the mud boots because it's time to get this crypto. I'm expecting that the volatility up here in this range is going to be spectacular, fantastic in terms of volatility that traders like myself salivate over, ladies and gentlemen. I've already showed you, shout out to my VIPs. I've kept you all updated in VIP with my long position from 11,792. Right now, I've been moving my stop loss higher, higher, higher to lock in my profit right now maximize my upside reward potential, minimize my lower downside risk potential. 
And right now, I'm preparing my mind, my plays, and my strategies for if we eclipse our high here at 13,000 on a local time frame and move up into this region to retest the high and the 0.618 Fibonacci. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, I see that we have entered a zone where we could have clear sailing. This does not mean that we are not going to get the candles of doom in here. The liquidation bot hunters, ladies and gentlemen, they love to punish the FOMOers. As we saw just here earlier today, they love to FOMO, they, excuse me, they love to punish the FOMO traders. From a classical technical analysis perspective, breaking this level was a, was a great bullish confirmation. But as you can see, somebody else had another plan in mind here, right? And they punished them. Then they rebought the bag, and now it's ripping again. Savage, heinous, and a borderline ludicrous debacle, if you do in fact ask me. But now, ladies and gentlemen, the fact of the matter is here. Let's look at the weekly here, because I want to show you all, if we take a, a, a look at a clean chart here, weekly time frame. Right now, not only did we have the most bearish looking wick of all time here, but last week's candle body closed above the prior candle body close. And now this week, ladies and gentlemen, we may be looking for, in fact, a bullish engulfing candle here. It's insane. The parabolic trend as of time of recording appears to be intact to me, ladies and gentlemen. The parabolic trajectory appears to remain intact to Don Don Carbonaccio. But as we all know, I was just pointing out that up in this region that we may tentatively be looking to climb to right now, I'm expecting we may see a lot of buffoonery in here, ladies and gentlemen, a potential crocodile tooth chop around in here to really test these traders, liquidation hunts, stop hunts, etc., etc. You need to prepare right now for your game plan. I'm going to be keeping you all updated in VIP with my strategies, my plans, my entries, my exits, my targets, all of it for you. I'm trading this market around the clock. I can only post here on YouTube once per day, ladies and gentlemen, but Don Don Carbonaccio is trading, plotting, strategizing, taking my trades, entering, exiting, taking the profits, etc. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. And right now, I'm going to be looking for this range for more opportunity. I may look to be adding to my long in here. I may be looking to take profit on my long in here and re-enter at a better spot. And as you see already, I've shown you, I've already moved my stop loss up three times from my entry point. Traders in this market that are crushing, are they're at the top of the game, right? That's what you have to understand is that if you're in this game, right, trading, which it is a game, right? It is a game, essentially, that this market is being ran by human traders and bots. This is a game that if you're trading the volatility, you're playing to win, right? If you're not playing to win, then why are you playing at all? And if you're not monitoring your positions, watching these candles, these charts with an eagle eye, adjusting your strategy, changing your strategy on the fly, monitoring your positions, taking trades off the table, adding trades onto the table 24-7. How do you expect to compete with those that are? You see what I'm saying here? So uh, what I'm trying to tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen, is that we are entering a point here where this parabolic trajectory is either going to continue and then we get a massive sell-off here or fake outs, et cetera, et cetera. All I'm, I'm trying to state for you here right now is that if there was ever a time to get serious about trading, about your strategies, thinking ahead, plotting your next move is right now. I know I am, and I know that I'm going to be keeping you all up to date in VIP with my strategies, trades, etc., in absolute real time, to the exact second. That is what I post for you in VIP. Like I said, I can only be here on YouTube once per day to update you guys with what I'm seeing. But uh, in VIP, it's 24-7, so I will keep you all updated in VIP there with my trades, my adjustments, my strategies, etc. Shout out to all my new future VIPs joining VIP right now after this video. I will see you in VIP right now. Let's get this crypto. So another thing I want to point out here, guys, is that the crypto fear and greed index is back into very extremely greedy territory. But once again, 
I'm kind of reading this metric as a true representation of, of the parabolic trend, right? Usually, I would use this as a contrarian indicator uh, in the sense that, well, the market's too greedy, so maybe I should take some of my long off the table. But right now, in, the, in this, this parabolic state and the parabolic nature of this trend, we've only seen the parabola take place when the fear and greed index has shown massive amounts of greed, right? When the greed has been extremely high, that's when we've had sustained parabolic action. When the greed falls off and we go into that, that fearful territory, that's when we've seen the dumps in the market. So right now, I'm actually not looking at this as a contrarian indicator. I'm looking at this right now as a pure organic indicator. And my friends, what I'm seeing here is that we essentially quadruple bottomed, right? We had our 62 followed by a 63, then by a 67, then by a 67 again. So we have had a series of higher lows here. And now as of today, we've broken out to a new high to eclipse our two local highs here at a 78 and a 79. And at the time of recording, we are now at an 84. Let's get this crypto. To me, ladies and gentlemen, with the breakout here, if Bitcoin is able to maintain its support between 12,250 and 12,050, maybe this parabolic trajectory will continue us up here in a hockey stick pattern formation, just like we've seen many times in this trend thus far, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, past performance is not indicative of future results, but we've seen that there has been many parabolic hockey stick pattern formations all throughout the recent macro trend. Are we about to get another one right now? Well, we can only hypothesize, right? And we do have a breakout of a potential bull flag, right? Up past our resistance zone to take out all of our high or low trajectories, which were giving us resistance. If we hold support here, we then have our measured move of the orange extrapolated flagpole to the upside, which is roughly around our prior high, right? At, a, at roughly around 14,000. I'm certainly seeing sentiment here for the bulls, ladies and gentlemen. And right now, uh, if this drops out, well, I'm going to be taking profits on my trade, entering again, looking for more plays to the upside or to the downside, right? If this market drops off the face of the earth, I'm gonna to look to short it into, into the crypto abyss. If we continue upwards, you best believe Don Don Carbonaccio is going to continue to ride this parabolic express all the way up into the promised land, right? Ah, guys, this week I've noticed now with this type of action in here, right? Chopping around, right? Going crazy. You guys remember, shout out to my VIPs. I went even short from this range, ladies and gentlemen. I shorted at 11,700 all the way down into this region, right? I longed, I was longing from the $8,400 region, $9,400 region, 10,000, all the way up, took profits in here. Then I saw that this market looked uh, pretty ugly and set for a drop to the downside. I shorted in here, took profits down here. And now, once again, ladies and gentlemen, Don Don Carbonaccio did it again. Longed this breakout here, and I'm still in my long position right now for these heinous profits. Shout out to my VIPs. If I'm going to be adding to my position here, I'm going to keep you updated. When I take profits, I'm going to keep you updated. Do not be getting caught like a deer in the headlights, ladies and gentlemen. You know too much. I've seen that emotions are running extremely high right now. If you guys could only see the comments that I get on a daily basis, ladies and gentlemen, uh, messages right inboxed from these degenerates, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, dang, dang. Well, well, you see, Kirby, you're going to get wrecked and, and, and me and, and, and you and... They've lost their minds here once again, ladies and gentlemen. When the market moves like this, there's so much opportunity for traders like myself and for you to crush this when these traders lose their minds. 99% of traders here in this market, in my opinion, have absolutely zero idea of what they're going to do when the next move happens. They do not plan in advance. They do not have a strategy. They simply buy, cross their fingers, close their eyes, and hope for the moon. And then they cry to Don Don Carbonaccio when the trend makes a move. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here cool.
calm and collected, ready to strike like a cobra out of the grass and get this crypto when in fact the move does arise. And ladies and gentlemen, these degenerates, right? They come in here, they click into this stream, click into this channel, click into this house that Don Don Carbonaccio built. And they can like it or they don't like it. But either way, they better learn to love it because this stream right here is the best thing going inside the cryptocurrency space today. Don Don Carbonaccio hitting these moon boys where it hurts, ladies and gentlemen. Because right here, right now, if you lack preparation, discipline, and to put your emotions aside, there's a, there's a high probability that you will fail in here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my, the best I can do for you is say, listen, uh, I hope that you plan in advance. I hope that you're ready for whichever direction this breaks. Personally, I'm strategizing for both directions, ready to crush it and get this crypto, playing this market like a fine-tuned trombone, ladies and gentlemen, a fiddle at that. And I'm going to be keeping you all updated with my strategies, plans, and trades moving forward here in VIP. Today is the day. It's time to transform yourself from average Joe into savage Joe. Let's get this crypto. I will see you all in VIP right now. Shout out to my VIPs. Don't lose your mind here. Don't feel like this market is out of control, right? If you feel like this market and your decisions are out of control, how are you going to succeed? Right now, I'm remaining cool, calm, collected, strategizing, and plotting for success. If you fail to plan, then your plan is to fail. Don Don Carbonaccio does not fail to plan. Don Don Carbonaccio plans to succeed. I will see you all in VIP right now. Shout out to my new future VIPs joining VIP right now after this video. I will keep you updated with all of my strategies and trades in this range, ladies and gentlemen. Do not get caught like a deer in the headlights. Do not be taking that trip to Wrecked City with Average Joe and James at the water cooler. Are we going to break upwards towards 14,000? or break our support here and plunge deep down into the crypto abyss. That, my friends, remains to be seen. Either way, I'm looking to crush it up or down. My friends, if you could one last time, moon up the likes, moon them up, smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell, and let's get this crypto. Gonna be trading it aggressively. I'll keep you updated in VIP to the exact second with every trade strategy and plan that I formulate for you exclusively in VIP. I'll see you all in VIP right now. Shout out to my new future VIPs joining VIP right now after this video. I will see you in VIP right now. Let's get this crypto. And until next time, my friends, sheesh, the Don has spoken. Be safe, be happy, be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs.